What's going on, everybody? We are going to do a Live the Dream cube draft here on Magic the Gathering. Uh, this is an interesting cube <clears throat> that I, I guess kind of emphasizes doing crazy things. And um, there's 11 archetypes. Phantom League, yes, let's do that. The 11 archetypes are White Blue Blink, Blue Black Ninja Thievery, <clears throat> Black Red Self Discard, Red Green Biggins, Green White Copy Populate, White Black Life Manipulation, Blue Red Chonky Spells, Black Green Graveyard Critters, Red White Damage Redirection, Green Blue Flash, and Five Color Dream. So, I'll put this in the, uh, uh, live the dream. Thank you. <coughs> Alright, that was a command for it. Oh, look at this hollowed fountain. What is this from? What in the earth? I'm more impressed with the hollowed fountain. All right, all right. I like white blue blink as an archetype. I also like white black life manipulation. Um, jeez. Is it just hollowed fountain? None of these cards are super impressive. I don't love temporal manipulation. <clears throat> uh, this is definitely not a box topper from Zendikar. They they neither, neither they don't look like this nor is hollowed fountain one of them. Um, I'm going to just take Hollowed Fountain. Force your own archetype. Well, I, I have a, I, I have, I get an enjoyment, a certain enjoyment from winning my matches. So I don't know if I want to do that on the first try. Yeah, well, <clears throat> all the archetypes are two colors, but I'll just do black blue ninja thievery and black green graveyard. So then we just nailed it. <clears throat> yeah, these are looking interesting. Azorius signet seems nice. Baron seems nice if we're blinking things. Here's an extended art double vision, which is exciting. These are all exciting to see. I like all these borderless cards, man. The one good thing about Cube is that you get to keep the cards. <laughs> Efka, what's going on, my dude? Long time no see, buddy. Uh, I feel like Signet has to be better than Baron. Thank you. Uh, Kyers, you said upcoming Zendikar expeditions. That is, these are not the upcoming Zendikar box toppers. And you just linked me to a battle for Zendikar page where the hollowed fountain looks nothing like this one. So, <laughs> this, this hollowed fountain that you just sent me from Battle for Zendikar that came out four years ago, uh, is not, is not the same as the hollowed fountain we have, which is completely different. So... <laughs> That's not how that works. <clears throat> oh, what up, Dan's? Thank you for the resub, my my. I was gonna say my dude, but I don't know if that's correct. I don't know if I can say that. See this scalding tarn. This is actually uh, a battle for Zendikar expedition. I have no idea where this hollow fountain came from. Considering it has the Magic Online logo, I'm going to assume it's literally a Magic Online specific card. I don't actually think this is a card in the real world. And the Magic Online promo code uh, symbol gives that away. <clears throat> I think it's just thought I think it's just Scalding Tarn. <clears throat> it's all good, my dude. Dan's I call everybody dude, but you 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 probably know that, I would imagine. You're not a card in the real world. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take Tarn. If we are trying to blink, I feel like it's... Uh... They're spoiling it right now. Whoa! 
I don't know what this does. Target player sacrifices an attacking creature. You create X-1-1 white soldiers where X is the creature's toughness. Thank you. That seems good. Aether Spouts also seems decent. Oh, what up to Mike Arnold? Welcome back, my dude. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> my bad, I just thought they switched it to the Zendikar session, but who can keep up with Wizards selling 20 different versions of every card and premium? I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> I happen to like, like, these, like the borderless cards, the extended arts, I actually really like them. So I'm not going to complain about them, but like, I do know your feeling where it's like, oh god, there's like seven versions of everything. I want to take Aether Spouts. Actually, I want to take Entrapment Maneuver. I haven't played this card, but it seems pretty good. What if that's the way they spoiled cards? Like people would oh that would be really interesting actually. People just randomly find them in their in their queue in their drafts. They're like, what is this card? What is this new card? I've never seen this before. And you can like see how long it takes for someone to catch on and be like, what is this? The problem is if you're not streaming it, it's a really bad. Uh, I guess I can put my cards down here. I guess I don't have to put all my cards. For some reason, I'm like defaulting to putting all my cards in the sidebar here. Is that from Arena, do you think? Because Arena's literally set up where your deck is here. I kind of wonder. Did you do my cutie stip yet? I just want to know if I should check the two. No, not yet. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <clears throat> no, because this is my first cube draft. This is my first uh, of this of this format. So I have this one to do, which I can do, and I can also do Ghost of the Sun with blind alternating picks. And I have a, a Dan, a Dan, a Dan, a Dan to D stip, which is build a deck that uses token creatures. Actually, to attack with swords, I don't know if there are swords in this. So I might not be able to do that one, but. Yeah, and if they're going to do that, it's just like you're already telegraphing that you're doing it, so it's not like you're... Huh. <clears throat> huh. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like just, I just like kind of like Kenrith by himself. Scrubland also good. We can not get it with the Scalding Tarn though. My dad was watching Elk Tears and I played MTG and thought that when you won, you got to keep all the other person's car. Oh my god, that'd be the worst game ever. I'll take Kenrith. Sure. Sure. Gigantha. Artless. Overgrown Tomb. Heartless. Scholar of the Lost Trove. When there's a battlefield, you cast the instant or sorcery card from your graveyard of the paints, mana cost, and instant or sorcery card. Excellent set. I kind of like just playing this. I also like Banishing Line, I guess. <clears throat> You may cast an instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. I feel like it's this guy. This guy seems great. Cast out seems good here. <clears throat> We're just erring towards blue-white Cheons, I guess. But, let's be honest, that's my natural state. A Living Ring? Alright. 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 <clears throat> we don't have a ton of blinky cards yet, but, you know. What can you do? Uh, Kiora, interesting. Hero of Pre Saint 1, not looking great here. Kiora, not terrible with three hits so far. <clears throat> I'll take the Kiora, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll take the Lamia. What does this do? Uh, when it enters the battlefield, print all damage that will be dealt to you this turn. Whenever damage will be dealt, put that. It's not impressive, but I'll take it. Giver of runes? Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, what up, Decaru? Good seeing you, buddy. Whenever it's a, there's a new cube that showed up, so Decaru has to make an appearance. If you have a repeatable blink source, it sounds like it's hard. Yeah, I guess that's true. But then, like, you never get the count. You never get to keep the counters, and that's really what I'm here for. You just reset the counters every time, and then I'm like, "What's the point?" 
It also feels emotionally draining for... Oh, the Godzilla is the last pick. But they put Godzilla's on here? I don't think they had Godzilla's on here previously. Oh, actually, this might be the one... Uh, the one Godzilla card that doesn't have a regular version. This seems so much less painful than Tinker's. Also, we get to play three rounds. Can you imagine? Helm of the Host. This is bringing back the Tinker memories. And a Soul Thailand, huh? Oh, that's a good that's a good choice on David's part to like choose the uh, like the extended arts. I wonder if they were even programmed on here to be honest. They're probably, probably like just put them on there, just make it happen. God, is Helm of the Host correct? It feels good, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough creatures for it. Seagate Oracle's fine. We're not a second color yet, but we could branch into black for uh for life gain shenanigans when we have Kenrith and Lyra. Oh man. This is these are the hard decisions now. It's either fetid pools. One one enters the battlefield with one one counter for each color of mana spent on it. Remove a one one counter from it, add a mana of any color. Tap it to put that's actually interesting. Four mana is a little rough. Am I a coward for wanting the charm? No, not at all. There's no there's no cowardice in consistency. Also, it's a blink deck, so like, you know, you blink and the thing is pretty good. God, what if that's correct? Oh god. But this draws you a card. How's that wrong? I'm gonna see you at Oracle. I can't do it. Is the triple good here? Not sure. The triple good um I don't I didn't want to encourage myself to take a triple line. Oh, resplendent angel is nice. I feel like I'm I'm steering towards the black white cards, even though I'm supposed to be in the blue white deck. I mean we're just gonna take Glacial Fortress. Fixing is That was a chef's kiss in case you guys didn't know. Black Blade Reforged. Um, well, we have two legendary creatures. Which is easy to see because they have the borders on them, which I really like. I keep thinking this is Arena. Yeah, get wrecked, nerd. Commander Ninjutsu. Whenever an you control does common damage to a player, reveal the top card of your library and put that card in your hand. Each player loses life equal to that card's equal to mana cost. Each opponent, rather. I don't know if it's at each player. Dominate. <clears throat> Unicorn bro. Bruna. Could actually just be Bruna. Like, Bruna's just big. It's probably the Bruna or Yuriko. And because this really ruins my... My plan. Unicorn does blink. Let's take the Unicorn. Dang it. Oh, so a Cavalier of Dawn seems good to blink. Oh, so does a... But a Tundra. Guys, a Tundra. I have to be careful whenever I'm streaming because, like, Watson's right under my feet. So, like, the last thing I want to do is roll over him. I'm sorry, little bud. I don't want to crush you. Yeah, we're taking Tundra. We're going to get all... Oh, Polluted Delta? We could have had Gisela and Bruna. Oh, man. Do we try it? Do we try to, like, wheel the Bruna? Okay, we're going to try it. Ooh, face fetters. That's a blinkable. That's one blinkable. Yeah, like, Gisela on her own is just fine. Like, I'll just play a 4-3 flyer with first strike and lifelink. <clears throat> Chefs can't be kissing stuff during a pandemic. Or during regular hours, because that's... Not... You know what? I think face fetters is the better pick. But in Treat the Angels is the more exciting pick. Ooh, Brago. Is it wrong that I just want, like, Crested Sunmare here? And I just want to, like... I want to be blue-black, blue-white blue life gain instead? Is that... Is that wrong? <clears throat> this seems better than Brago here. In our deck. Oh, man. Does it, though? What? Yeah, it's a 5-5 it's five, five that can't... It's like, we're gonna get... We're gonna gain so many horses, man. I don't even know what this guy does. 
23 seconds. God. Like, he blinks this and, like, this, I guess. I'm taking Sun Mare. No way, man. You guys can't. You guys can't control me. You're not my dad's. That's true. Darth Vader is dead. Efka, let me ask you something that I've been meaning to ask you. Have you lost a ton of weight, dude? In your recent videos, you look much more slim. You look slimmer. You're probably going to be like, no, not at all. But thank you for thinking I did. I have until the pandemic. Oh. Well, dang it. Yeah, I mean it's true. Like we can just splash these two off of off of like these four lands. So Having a good time. Man, the pandemic poundage is real. It's almost like when you Oh, Scour Barons. That gains us a life. Oh man, that's wild. Part the water veil though. What in the heck? God, part the water veil seems so strong. Yeah, I'm gonna take part. Whatever. I don't need no stupid scour barons. Oh dang it, I hit the wrong one. Oh, the charming prince came back. Oh man, we did it. We're living the dream. <clears throat> Resplendent Angel came back? Come on, Bruna. Come on, Bruna. I know you're going to be in this pack. Also, with Resplendent Angel, Gisela, Lyra, and, and Bruna, we have a quite a nice little angel package here. Angel, come back. <clears throat> I think it would be in this next pack. Come on. Don't do me dirty. There's a random noise again. You just kind of hear it sometimes. It's like, uh, it's like PTSD, really. I'm going to be 70 years old and I'm just going to hear that random MTGO ding out of nowhere. You weren't there. Came from everywhere. You'd hear it in the trees. I don't think it is when the timer runs out. I think we're going to look, we're going to watch. 28, 20, maybe it is, hold on. 26, 25, because why would it take so long after that fact? I'm going to let it go low. I'm also going to take this Yuriko. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's where the timer would have gone. But maybe it's like everyone has to not be done with their picks, I guess? Okay, the Bruna did not come back, which is really discouraging. And it makes me feel a certain way. Because it only does it sometimes. I feel like it would do it every single time, though, you know? Oh, Soulfire Grandmaster? Sure. I mean, I don't think there's time walks in here, but you know. <clears throat> Still, what can you do? That's what Father loves. 
<laughs> Carrion Grub. Okay. All right, let's make sure this booster uh, is actually perfect. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Misty's nice because it can get both Hollowed Fountain and Tundra. Let's sort these by current mana cost. <clears throat> Karmic Guide is pretty decent, but our five drop slots looking a little full. Dig through time. Karlov of the whenever you gain life, put two one one counters on it. Remove six counters, exile a creature. That seems pretty decent. Karmic Guide's an angel, but do I care about that? I don't know. Karmic Guide's probably pretty good actually for blinking stuff. What if Karlov of the Ghost Council comes back? That'd be pretty cool, right? You hear Michael B. shuffling in? No, I gotta wait by the door. I'm gonna put the boys in there. He's gotta wait by the door? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, feel free to join whenever you're done. Yeah. You just gotta bring a chair in here. Okay. Little boys, <clears throat> little boys. Little boys. Demir, oh, no, come here. ball and shinobi, and a Demir signet and a godless shrine, and no, <laughs> come here, no. You could just shove them in here. Oh yeah. Here, come here, Wally. <laughs> no, now you want Wally. Come here. Ammon two's augury is also. Uh... Yeah, we're playing just us for Ninja Life game blank. That's basically our. Uh... I don't think you're wrong. I think this is what I want to take. But then Demir Singh. We don't have any fixing lands for black. Which I think is worth noting. Where this card just makes me so happy, dude. I don't know if we're good. I don't know if it's good enough for us, though. Um, I think I'm just going to take the Demir Singh. We have a lot of five drops. We'll get the fixing. I don't know, though. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to wait. To guarantee we'll get the fixing. <laughs> Righteous Confluence. Now this is a confluence you don't see very often. Gain five, exile an enchantment, or create a white knight. Why oh, is it a sorcery? It couldn't make this an instant? This is too strong as an instant. Gaining life is instant speed. There's tons of, of white spells that make that make tokens at instant speed. And exiling enchantment is not a sorcery speed ability. Why is this... I'm going to go with the Knight. I'd rather have another 2 drop. I don't really want another 5 drop in the deck. <clears throat> hmm. Right of replication. This pack is pretty underwhelming. I kind of just want to take Inspired Ultimatum, but the fact that like it's, it's 3 color is red is a little rough. Is it just right of replication? I mean, Mind Stone's actually fine. Yeah, I'll take a Mind Stone. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. All right, Urza's pretty decent. We don't have... Oh, we have three artifacts. And we can just blink Urza a bunch. Okay. Okay. Angel of Sanctions, Wingmate Rock. That Lightning Bolt is literally just murdering this bear? That's real dark. I kind of like Remand here, actually. It literally is Overkill, actually. It's, uh, it's, yeah, alright. I think it's just Remand here. Take Yuriko out.
Isolated Chapel. Supplant Farm. Return creature to its owner's hand. You create a token. A copy. A copy token of that. This card's actually pretty good, right? You just bounce their guy and make a copy of it. Or bounce your own guy and make a copy of it. Let's take Supplant Form. What's up, Plant Form? Just Lighthouse Chronologist? How much mana do I have to sink into this guy? A lot, but it's still a 1-3 for 2. Okay, you know what? A Lighthouse Chronologist. Basically, Fraction Identity. Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Oh, I wanted Karlov, Ghost, Karlov of the Ghost Council to come back. I'll take that. I don't think it matters at this point, <laughs> but I think our deck is as far as is is well made. Ah! Oh! oh, hey, stop it! Hey, come over here, all of you. Shh. Shh, shh. You guys are fine. I'm gonna play Eminato's Augury. Eminato's Eminatow. Good boys. Good boys. Stop! Oh, sorry guys. Stop it! Get over here! You're being a little biscuit! Stop. Nope. What are you doing? Get over here. Stop being bad. You're being, you're misbehaving. This is the last pack? This has to be the last pack, right? Okay, we're just taking all these cards. It doesn't matter. Shut up and take my money. What's happening right now? Karlov Buckaroonies. I don't even know if that makes any sense. But Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you. Did you say like in the chat I'll donate 20 bucks as that Karlov comes back? Or are you just like, you know what? I like that it did. Did you say above? I can't. I'm trying to scroll up, but it keeps going down. Yep, cool. That's fucking impossible to read because... It keeps literally scrolling back down when I'm trying to go up to read. Okay, hold on. If Car stop! Please, stop! I'm gonna spray you guys. I'm gonna give you spritzes. Wally, come here. Come on, come here. There you go, stay. Both of you stay. Stay. Y'all need to stay. This is just horrible. If Carlo comes back, I'll donate 20. But only if you promise to snap keep a Boros Reckoner. <laughs> well, we did not see a Boros Reckoner, but... Uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled in the future for sure. Okay, hold on. We need like six cuts here. We've got Giver Runes. I don't think Soulfire Grandmaster is anything for us. I'm kind of greedy about Lighthouse Chronologist. You think Sphinx is an easy cut? It probably is. I don't even know if... I guess we have Remand. And... Entrapment Maneuver. And that's pretty much it. I don't even think Snapcaster is that good here. Wally, come here. Wally, come on. Wallace, get over here. Come here. Stay. Stay. Ah! Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, Snapcaster doesn't seem great. Hey, there's no one here. Ah. I don't think we have the blue for Chronologist either, to be honest. 
They're so, oh my god, they're so loud, dude. I wish we had a single black fixing that we could search for with Scalding Tarn, because then we could play like Yuriko or Kalov. We need two more cuts, though, so maybe I shouldn't be focusing on cards we can we can add, but cards we can cut. Scholar does seem kind of meh. Volulum definitely does demand to be hurt. Who doesn't like a good... Kerwit loves a good Boros Reckoner. People are starting to understand Reckoner life. <laughs> uh, more like damn near killed dinner. Uh, target player draws a card and gains five life. Both of those are pretty good. And we can actually use the black ability off of the Demir Signet if we, if we manage it. So we have like one cut to make. I don't actually even know what it could be. What's Urza really doing? Or not? I mean, like it's it it makes a guy. It gives us something to do with spare mana, and it's something we can blink consistently. So I don't know. That seems pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, like being able to blink Urza over and over with Emil and make make guys like that seems pretty good. Like it's with Emil, it's literally three mana make a make a construct. Is Augury good enough? I don't know. Probably not, but I really like it. It's probably not good enough. Ugh. Makes me sad. Sort by color. What's up, plant form? Nine to four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five, six, it's twelve to nine. More like twelve to ten. Thirteen, yeah, twelve to ten because the mere signet. I think that's fine. Oh, Phil, I didn't get the the non. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get the sky scanner joke. I I feel bad now. Guys, look who it is. It's America's favorite son. <laughs> America's favorite son. Well, that was a waste of time. Wait, why? The dude was like, oh, I can't melt these. All right, see you later. Because they don't have, like, screws in the back like some monitors have. Doesn't it literally have the stats on... Like, okay. What? I don't think he looked that deep into it. I guess he just assumed. It was weird because I'm pretty sure the model number's on the post, right? Jimmy, today's my half day because I was forced to work Saturday. I still went in early, so I worked at uh, 6 a.m. till 1.30. America. America. Yes, this is <laughs> Super Fritz's uh, Lil Boofy's Chicken Sunday shirt. <laughs> I wore it specifically for the stream. Sure, fucking this little boofy on it. That's hilarious. And I went to a car repair shop with that. Yeah, did they ask you? They're like, hey man. Oh man, I love little boofy. You should have been like, yeah, his SoundCloud's blowing up. <sighs> I wish I didn't have to go to a repair shop today. Oh. I mean, I drove it to there and it drove fine. And then. Look at that beautiful goose. They said it had something to do with the connection between the hybrid battery and the onboard computer. Or, or it could be a problem with the computer itself. And he reset it for me, and he's like, yeah, if you see that again, though, you should definitely, you got to take it in, because that's pretty important. Did you try slipping him a 20 so he'd fix it? <laughs> More like shipping him 20 with three zeros. I mean, wait, two with three zeros. You're going to ship him $20,000? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. You're going to ship him more than the car's <laughs> worth? Michael, why don't you just get a just Tesla? Get a new, just get a new Prius for that cost. I don't understand. No, not the hybrid battery itself. I actually replaced that um, about a year ago. So it's not the hybrid battery itself. It has something to do with the computer or the connection between the hybrid battery and the computer, like the onboard computer. The onboard computer. You know, and the controls, like, you know, the lights and... The onboard computer, my computer. How it turns on. It's pretty important. He said it could be so many things that, like, they'd have to... they need, like, a couple hours to diagnose it if there's something wrong with it, actually. But he said that, like, it's not uncommon for that to just... 
be a fluke like it does happen and i was like well what about the cold weather he's like yeah that could affect it too because like the temperature change and stuff so did he tell you to maybe suck less no No. i was distracted though so i forgot your diet coke as long as you got what you wanted michael as long as you as long as you filled your own needs that's the important part i barely did i forgot something and i also drove past the house because i was in such a haze good lord man get your life together well it's like dude you're making good money now don't worry about it it's not a fucking life ending bill dude it's not even a problem right now it's a problem if I had to fix it fucking tomorrow I, don't, I probably don't have like you know seven hundred. oh you gotta fix it tomorrow wow isn't the light off right now yes but like I but don't know. anything could happen right exactly wow I hope your car doesn't randomly explode while you're in it then that'd be wild man just saying I guess I have triple A and at worst I could potentially borrow your car to take to work until I could pay for it I guess if need be I'm just hoping it never comes on again and it lasts me for the rest of my life and I never have to do anything with it. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Fair enough. America. But at least it's not a, like a you can't drive a problem yet. So. Yet. <clears throat> Those are much more infuriating. Good thing I renewed my AAA, huh? Rosie O'Donnell, thank you for the resub. Really appreciate it. Tell Mike to fix his car before it explodes. He should. Get your life together, Michael. <laughs> Just don't take it up to 88 until you get it checked out. I don't want to take that risk, Mutual McFly. Wow. Michael wants to borrow. I have ever done 88 My car? Hopefully it won't come to that. I don't think so, Michael. <laughs> Do you know what's going to happen right now? I'm going to utterly destroy my opponent. Yes. What did you think this was? Well, it looks like it could be constructed, so I wasn't sure. Yeah, my opponent's playing... Uh, I'm playing M.E.L. the Blessed from Jumpstart. And my opponent's got Palladium Mirror. Yeah. I don't know what standard is or whatever format this could be. It just gets so sad. Don't go under 50 Sandra Bullocks. Wow. <laughs> Why does he exist? At the end of each turn. Did you know that's Rosie O'Donnell? What? Did you know that's Rosie O'Donnell? I did. It's crazy. I know. Life is wild, man. Man. What a crazy viewer to have. The one and only. What are they doing right now? Oh, they're making a food? Eat it. Eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. You know, eat it. You know that song? By Weird Al. Yeah. That's right. Did get some potato salad. It was enough for the fam. Oh, yeah. What kind? Classic. Okay. It's uh, it's not it's not brand. It's like uh, the actual Safeway one. You didn't get the good one? That no, I went to with? Safeway. I didn't go to... Why'd you go to Safeway? Because it was right next to the car repair place I went to. Oh, okay. I was like, Safeway? But I've had their potato salad before, and if I remember correctly, it's pretty good. And wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Oh, Nyx Bloom. Whose Bloom is... Oh my god, can we bounce the Nyx Bloom with supplant form? Make a copy of it? And then, uh... Need to have a permanent for mana. I almost got this giant steak, but I decided to get two reasonable size steaks instead. It was, like, literally this thick. I don't know if that's... I don't know, steaks. Sounds like you made... Like, it was literally... A mistake. It was literally like a dinosaur chunk. It was fucking huge. Dinosaur chunk, dinosaur chunk. Can they call it a tomahawk Doing steak? Doing the things that a dinosaur chunk does. Swings a whip and it's size. Dinosaur beer, chunk eating fries. Oh, yeah. Amish potato salad. I don't even know what that means. You know what it means. I don't. Think about it. How thick? The ones I got were about uh, two inches thick. The one that I was thinking about getting was like... I don't know, five or six inches. It was fucking massive. I don't think it's been. I think it's meant to be cut. Into just like Daddy used to make. Yeah, just like Daddy used to make. I think we're gonna win this game unless they wipe the board. That'd be a shame. I just want to entreat the angels with Nick's Blue Ancient Man. I want to do four, six, seven, nine, twelve, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. 
three times that much mana? This makes two, so this makes six mana. So I'm just going to replay this guy again. Villainous Wealth. Okay, you get a Gisela, a Ram... Yeah, that's not, that's not great. But I do love a Villainous Wealth. Oh, they were going to untap in Villainous Wealth for 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. A million, 15, your whole deck. 16, 18. More or less your whole deck. Wow. <clears throat> Nick's Bloom Ancient's a hell of a drug. Is he got, he's got a blood. He's got Spider-Man. It is. Super Fridge still hasn't explained what the Amish potato salad is. Yeah. I think he just made that up, man. I think he's actually on some sort of medication. It's hard for him to communicate. I'm into potato salad. You know, I'd love to hear new forms of it. I'm really into potato salad, man. I'm going to keep this it's in because we have two turns to draw land. And then we got double signet if we hit it. Also, it's just lazy steak and potatoes. Instead of making my own potatoes, I just bought potato salad. I think it still works. What if it doesn't? What if you eat it and you're like, this is terrible? Well, that'd be weird because two years ago it was good, so. Two years ago? Yeah. Michael, you know what could have changed in they two years? They could have years? changed the formula, you're right. Fuck. You make it sound like two years is yesterday. I should ask for a sample. Nothing changes in two whole years. I could have got the devil. Oh, sorry, bud. Potato salad? That one is good. I think you messed up. But have you had the Safeway one? I don't know, man. Whatever. I just work here, Michael. Y'all ever heard of NordVPN? I've heard of NordVPN. You should use Frank's link and get it. You should get it. <laughs> Good deal. <laughs> Helps Frank out. Yeah, if you guys go to nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore, you can get 68% uh, off a two-year subscription along with one month free. It's really all you'd ever want out of a... If you need a VPN. Plus, I mean, it was also sponsored by Comenticut, and they did a whole meme about it where there's a series about a detective called Nord. That's pretty funny. So there's also that. <laughs> I make a mean potato salad. My secret is I replace all the ingredients with beer. Wow. Oh my god. Alright, so we can either play Resplendent Angel and Mind Stone, or we can play Urza here. I kind of like Urza because mana seems good. You like mana, Michael? I do. Do you like it, the man of my girl? He ignored the devil potato salad because his little butt still hurt from the little nitro. Wow. Michael, does your little butt still hurt? No, thankfully. I bet it. I bet it does. I know we can get a good deal on VPN if we go to NordVPN and mention Frank, but can we get a good deal on Frank, a Frank, if we go to Frank and mention NordVPN? Hmm. Interesting question. Um, I'm just gonna say that it's possible. I'll just leave it at that. Fred's hitting you with the hard truths. The questions, not truths. I'm gonna go on a block, block. You better block soon or you're gonna die. You seen that thing? It's a 12 12 with. You ever seen this thing? Yeah, I saw it. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I was like, well, that's what always happens to that. Card. I mean, I can also just play Cavalier Dawn. What does it. that do? What does that card in your hand do? I don't think you have an answer, but I also don't know all the cards oh, in your it, hand. It, it beastie it. Mm -hmm. It's also 4-6, which mm -hmm. is pretty convenient. Mm -hmm. Give me my construct. Give me my construct. Whenever it attacks, each creature shall power four is plus one plus one trample. Sure. Man, you're gonna ruin their fun. They're like, I finally get to attack with my big dinosaur, and they're just like, no. Cast him away as a man. Put him under the cast out. That doesn't make any sense. I feel like that was a successful turn. I'm no turn expert. Turn well, you didn't die. If you will. But, uh... Do you have enough to part the water veil yet? What I have enough to do... Awaken. 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 
do have enough to part the watermill actually but not for the but juicy. I was going to just play Kenrith and the next turn I can reanimate like this is it my Paterka from a graveyard oh god we can just start reanimating our things no isn't it under the uh, the controller of the creature under its owner's control yeah. that's worse I yeah. definitely don't want to target there yeah mm -hmm. could have swore there was a catch to it that's worse let's not do that I still want to reanimate Urza or draw cards or there's several things you could do it's true Except let's not target this guy, because that seems bad. Uh, Brett gets a reference. Nice. Total Metalocalypse. Wasn't your mother on that show? Yeah. How did you know that? <whistles> mm, that's kind of annoying. I mean, we can still do this. Yeah, but, but then they get a 3-3, three, three, a 3-3, three, three, and a 3-3, three, three, right? 1-2-3, three, 1-2. Two. What we can do now, actually, is play Resplendent Angel, gain 5 with this, and then just make a 5-5. Five, five. That actually seems pretty decent. Not bad. You don't like that, is what you're saying to me. I mean, I do, but... It you don't like it. Technically, deal with the Massacre Room, but I mean... I mean, next 15. turn we part the Water Veil, we attack for, like, 20. Yeah, all right. Like, because it's literally... All right, I'm back on board. <laughs> He's back in the saddle again. It's like whenever you gain a certain amount of life, you get an angel. It's whenever you gain five. Okay. You make a a beautiful baby. Beautiful baby bird. Man, Resplendent Angel is... Let's, well, it's OP. Okay, we'll just say it's OP. It's overpowered. You know, do you know what OP stands for? You play a lot of games? Optimal... Potatoes. It's not... But that sounds delicious, so who am I to argue? What's that thing? This is a memory card reader. You stick in your computer, and you can put all different size memory cards in the oh, slots. Oh, yeah, so I got you. Read them. I didn't see the, the USB thing dongle when you are holding it, so I was just like, this is a weird Samsung thing. You never look at the dongle, Michael. <laughs> never look at another man's dongle, okay? You're telling me what to do. Okay, look all you want then, I guess. I don't care. So you're still telling me what to do. Okay, you're Just right. shut up. Okay. What is this going to be? One, two, three, four, five, six. A lot. Walking Ballista for four? That actually doesn't kill anything except for the Resplendent Angel. So that's pretty good. That's, that's actually not bad. Well, you could kill the token if you wanted to, but... I mean, we have Kenrith out, right? So that's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. If we hit a land, we can still go Kenrith. We didn't hit a land, per se. Can we still just reanimate it and make another token? Do we have enough mana for that? No, because it's five to reanimate. What we can do is play Signet and then part the Water Veil. And then do all the things we want to do. You think that part the Water Veil is about the where the take an extra turn card should be cost of power level wise? I think for a take an extra turn card, part fine. is pretty... Like, it exiles itself, so you can't abuse it. And it, it's like six mana to take an extra turn, which seems like a fair amount. And then, you know, the upside is 9, which is kind of high. And it's triple blue on the upside, so. so triple blue I on fucking, the upside. I really like part of the water wheel. I think it's very good. Um, so if they block here, they take... Wait, does this... So cast this. One, two, three. I wish I could have potatoes, boiled radishes, the closest I get these. Are you doing keto? Block? Boiled radishes? I mean, with Kenrith on board and, like, a million mana, I'm sure there's a way we can win here, right? Like, we can just play this guy. Uh, we can put a creature on from the graveyard on the board. We don't have a way to make red is the problem. Yeah, we don't have a way to hasty. So we can't So win. they block here, they take eight. I mean, we could just attack for, like, nine. Or we could just attack with everything. Reanimate the angel. Gain some life pass, like... Uh, and they're going to need another 6 though I don't know hmm well hold on Three, five, six, seven, eight. no we have 9 mana oh wait Urza makes another token which would make that guy bigger right right that's what I'm thinking plus if we use this guy to kill one of our own things like a land so it would be 5 yeah it would be quite a bit okay hold on let's see if we can do this correctly 1 2 3 4 Five. Make a dude. 
So now we can go like this. One, two, three, four. Tap an artifact you control for this guy. We can play Cavalier, kill our own thing. This makes this a 6-6. Six, six. They block here, they take 9. Still not enough. They canceled my hot dog order. <laughs> yeah, still think we play this guy. Get rid of... It's gotta be non-land. Yeah, um... Oh. Could kill one of their mana sources. And I'm kinda just gonna kill Worm Coil. Yeah, I mean, it does give them three tokens, which is awkward, but they're it all gives little. them two tokens, Michael. No, it gives them three. Because don't they get a Oh, three? they get yeah. a th Okay, this, sure. But they're all three threes, which we don't care about. Well, the Death right? Touch one's rough, but... Yeah, we can just, like... Uh, uh, we're at 13, we don't care about that. Also, like, he can't arguably attack with it anyway. I think we're just getting rid of a stupid Azorius Signet here. Interesting. That evens you out. I mean, they have to block with Goose, and then they gain six. Like, so... They're going to two here. Which means their City of Brass is pretty rough. Mm-hmm. But... And we also have infinite chump blockers. And if we block it, look, we can just double block this guy and get back Resplendent Angel. Does it go to the battlefield? The canceled Kurt's hot dog order? How dare they? Do they know who they're messing with? <laughs> Kurt's going to burn your business to the ground. Curious of what kind of hot dog. What were the toppings? Okay, they're at one. Something's happening here. The only swells for six. Oh, God. Supplant form balloon. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The knight's not great, but the other ones are pretty rough. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. And they also hit a land. Well, I don't think, I don't think they're going to get planes, though, so that's fine, I guess. I don't think that's what we care about. Man, supplant form's pretty pretty brutal. Well, that guy, what does that thing do? This? Yeah, but I mean, we still have to keep it. It's not like freaking identity crisis or whatever. So they're going to go to seven here. Not Identity Crisis. Identity Crisis. The blue-white card that Fractured Identity. Fractured Identity. Fractured Identity Crisis. Like be one was Polish with barbecue sauce and jalapenos. The other was all beef with ketchup, relish, and mustard. That sounds pretty dope. What's up with people hating people that put ketchup on their hot dogs? People who don't like fun. So plant form on the Cavalier. Okay. It's when it dies, right? Now I want to lose play. Sure. I just treat hot dogs like hamburgers. I feel like you gotta kill this guy. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, relish. You put mayo on your hot dogs? Mm-hmm. It's delicious. I'm a mustard I'm a mustard ketchup uh relish guy. Did you say relish on your hot dogs? Yeah. Do you put relish on your hamburgers? Well, pickles. But it's a similar thing, right? Relish for hot dogs, because pickles on a hot dog is kind of awkward. They're not relish for them. Pickles on a dog. Pick pickles on a dog. Uh, they don't have to hit the flyer because they gain six with a warm coil when they attack. Ketchup is definitely overrated, but on certain things, ketchup is meant to be. I don't think ketchup's overrated. Ketchup's a classic, man. It's a classic, man. Okay, so they're they are Ken they are killing Kenrith. Dances with the ketchup and mustard. And they are going to Oblivion Ring Urza. Fascinating. Mustard and Sauerkraut's a good combo. I like that. Yeah, if I'm doing Sauerkraut Hot Dog, there won't be any ketchup involved. But it's a Sauerkraut kind of, Hot Dog. It's a different kind of dog. Different kind of dog. Different kind of life. Easy dog, easy life. So... Basically, we take six. We go to seven. They go to seven. They have two blockers. 
they take four and they're just dead. Don't think they math this right. Well, they had to do this or else they out of the flyer, but oh, for us not to. So if we blocked, they would still be alive, but we're not blocking. So I want to make a supreme cube, but I need some outside opinions. Do you think it's okay to include legions as one eighth of the packs? I'm worried that all the I don't like legions at all. I think our first round went very well. I think we crushed the opposition. I do not like ketchup on chicky nugs. That is a waste of nugs. No apology sub this time. <laughs> That's fair. I accept. Man, I was really excited for Villainous Wealth for like 30. And then I felt bad when it, when it didn't happen. Oh my god, you piece of shit. You stupid and treat the angels. He got so mad at that and treat the angels, Michael. It's always in your opener. Man, I want to draw Gisela here. No, I want to draw a three drop, and then I want to draw Gisela, and then I want to draw a land. Those are the those are the things I want. It's not a three drop, but our opponent's not doing anything either, so I guess they're just gonna. I'm gonna search for a land. Got an island. Sounds good. Yeah, man. You ever use that crazy texting where you just like slide around the keyboard? Yeah, it's called swipe, Michael. Yeah, I've been using it a lot lately. Kind of slaps. <laughs> it's 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 gotten a lot better since the last time I like regularly used it. Yeah, when I used it on my S7, it was like, well, this is hot garbage and doesn't work. No, they've they've done a lot of improvement. What does everyone think of the New York City hot dog street carts? Uh, well, as someone who doesn't eat hot dogs in their purest form, I do like bagel carts. And, no, no, uh, soft pretzel carts. Those are my favorite dance. If I'm in New York, I get a pretzel every day. Every day I'm like, I need a hot pretzel. I need a soft pretzel right now. Just like Michael Scott? Yes, except I like the savory hot pretzel with just like salt on it. Not the one with literally all toppings possible on it? Yeah, that thing is that thing is a little too, too extreme. Wow, you just killed my Urza. That's wild. Buddy, I got news for you. I didn't even give a shit about that Urza. And I got a Karmic Guide. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. No, I'm just really hungry. You are? Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, we got dinner coming up soon, Michael. Well, I still gotta cook it and eat it. Bet. Who are you? What are you? Did you just bet yourself? <laughs> yeah. I still gotta cook it and eat it. Bet. <laughs> Michael's having a whole fucking conversation with himself over here. You gonna grill up two fat ribeyes? Some potato salad? Mm, yeah, boy. Oh my god, they're, this this game's just over, right? Like, I can't even imagine that. We get to go Demir Signet, Crested Sun Mare, gain life from Lyra, make a 5-5 five, five horse. Like, make a 5-5 five, five horse. I'm making my horses in the world today. I'm going to try the 90 second technique that guy was touting instead of two minutes. I'm going to okay. try his minute and a half. Because they were, they could have been less done last time I made them. Takes everything and then just let him rest. Let him in a little nap. Let him go to sleep for a little bit on a little tin foil. Let him go to sleep. Take a little nap. Take a little hot dog nap. Also, if you guys have never grilled a steak and used Montreal steak seasoning, just like the basic Montreal steak seasoning that you can buy at the supermarket, shit's real good. Yeah, Katie turned us on to the Montreal steak. Just that a little salt and a little oil. Mmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wouldn't you like to get away? Bro, what are you going to do about my horse? 
What you gonna do about my horse? My, about what does my that horse, horse do? Again? My horse, my. Whenever if you gain life this turn, you gain make a five five. Any life. Any life, bro. It's Doesn't pretty good when you have a lifeline creature. Six, seven, eight mana. So this is what? One, two, three. One, two, one, two. So you need one more and we can make three. I'd wait it three, out. Four, six, seven. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, you're of course, pretty Michael. far ahead, so. I'll just slam it in them. Slamming in them? Just slam them, bro. I'm just going to slam it in them. Oh, what if they have? Well, they can't have either eyes. Or Aether Gusts, or whatever that card is. Yeah, I don't want to go run to a street cart and get a hot dog and a pretzel right now. <laughs> you could do that. You are in the place to do that. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that was in the cube. This does make your entreat pretty good, though. I guess that's true. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Oh, good. Might as well take the signet. I guess so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Minus 3 is 9. Oh, we can actually play signet in Karmakide. No, we can't. Dang it. Why do we have Why'd you even want to re oh, reanimate Urza? Yeah, I was just going to... Oh, actually... You can't do it without playing it, right? Well, reanimating Urza also gets back, gets this mana for entreat. So. Yeah, so it's like the same thing, but better. But better. Yeah, seems fine. We can also just spin the wheel like three times, right? Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's well, two, two times, I guess. I don't think spinning the wheel is going to be as good as making like seven four fours. We have seven cards in hand, and they just wiped our board. That was pretty fun. Remember when we couldn't possibly lose? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Well, see, and this is why, like, this is interesting. Are you rid of Urza? This is why best of three is a real magic format, and best of one is trash, because now I know to play around Subtle Wreckage in all future right. games, which there could be two more of. So. Hopefully not. Sometimes you want to go. Okay, Exile Kaga's going up to one target creature, or up to one target creature, return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control. That just kills our angels. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's that's amazing. Kurt, what is this video you sent? It's absolutely amazing. This is my new favorite video on the internet. Wait, what? Why would you ever do Bad. that? I guess he thinks you're going to pay the echo, but even then, like... I think they didn't know it had flying. Maybe? I don't know. Look at how talented that little boy is. Each opponent loses two left and you gain two left. Each opponent discards a card. And you draw a card. Sure. I'll discard a signet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, six. Okay, we are. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Troubles are all the same. Slam <laughs> They use it to pick off one, and they have a maze, so that's pretty annoying, but Maybe we get to kill a cure? I don't know. I don't know, man. Magic's hard. They do have six cards, so.
Oh, they just lost their... They just traded Kaya for Knight and uh, another card in hand. Maybe, maybe they didn't know how that worked. I mean, I don't know. I think they realized it still would have died, so... Yeah, but you get rid of a 4-4, right? Yeah. It also gives you a fog for a turn. I don't know. Fog that, man. Fog you. I mean, okay, they have settled a wreckage, but I don't know how many uh, sweepers are in the cube and that they could possibly have here. No, so I don't think they would have... Maybe they do that at the I want to go to the cube list know. and check. Wrath. No Wrath of God. Day. Damnation. No day. No damnation. Settle the wreckage is in here. I just wanted to check to see if it showed up. No languish. Uh, there is an austere command. Did they just draw a card with this guy? I think they did. Yeah. Fumigate? No. Well. And hostilities? No. Okay. We are very limited on our... Uh, He's a 3-5, right? What is? That dude. This is a 4-5. Oh, that's more better. That is more better. They block you one, block and untap one. one. So they take eight. Well. And lose an angel. Well, I guess they, well, it depends on they block the other way, but. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Is Shatter a martial coup? I don't even know if they wrath now because. Shatter like, is not. Marshall Koo is. <laughs> uh, Supreme Verdict? V E R D. Nope. No verdict. They have no reason to Wrath at all anymore, though, right? They have a 4 or 5. They have 6 cards in hand, which is a problem. Mm hmm. You can attack with everybody. The best case scenario is they take 10. Maybe it's worth it? No, I think it is. Because we can't. We can't snowball then into a victory. I mean, I'll even take something like a Charming Prince here to blink Seagate Oracle and draw a card. Like, we have a ton of mana. Yeah, if it could not be a land, that'd be cool. Especially because we have 699, 10, 11 lands in play. So, you know. And one in hand. So there's five left in the deck. Planar Cleansing and Cleansing Nova are not in Are you guys just naming cards? Like, they're not in here. No no Winds of Wrath. No Abandoned Winds. <coughs> World Court for Dragon. That does not count. Well, they don't have a way to gain life here, so that's cool. Okay, it's better than a land. Barely. Bet. It's a three mana draw one. Michael, sometimes like... Sometimes all you gotta do is cycle, man. Cycle, man! If you guys really want to know, just suture it for yourself. We're not gonna search literally every Wrath card ever printed in Magic. Just go to the cube list and search yourself. Yeah, you guys are naming things, but I feel like I'm, I've am i already I already said language isn't in here. Like, you guys are naming things, but I'm not sure if you're naming things that you know are in the cube or if you're just naming random shit that I have to look up, so. It's, Stop giving us a job. Yeah, it's just not helpful anymore. And it never was, really. Pretty good. Doesn't really do much for you. You can blink Yorion. Sure, that doesn't do much either. And of course, Kerwit names the only card he ever names. Boros Arkner. <laughs> it's not even a. It's not even a sweeper. What they do is. Plus two to blink this, just random. That one's pretty good, so. You got both halves? No. Unfortunately. A lot of creatures have four power, which is really kind of sad. Sacrifice this, destroy a legendary opponent. Sure, you can get rid of Gisela if you want, but. 
Spectral Sailor on this board is actually pretty decent. It has been a very long time since I've seen that Vensa. No, it's been a very long tomb. Tome. Tome. Tomb, 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 tomb. See these guys? These are the new additions. You look like a goddamn snail. <laughs> yeah. Michael, you look like a goddamn snail. And you got the weirdo carn. The weirdo carn. Yeah. Yeah, just because it's extended art. You got it. It's much better than the whole world. Beetle, little, little, little. Move yourself. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <coughs> thirteen, fourteen lands. There are three <coughs> lands left in our deck. Can you take it? Can you take it easy? Speaking of jobs, I got an offer and just have to make it through the background check. Shouldn't be a problem though. I don't know, Dennis. You're pretty, uh, pretty, pretty dark individual. Dennis, congrats, buddy. That's friggin' awesome, dude. I'm really glad to hear. What's the job? Is that what is that English? Are you English? No. I'm American, Michael. Are we dead? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, not yet. Not yet. Not today. How'd they get Biggie? What? How'd he get Biggie? How did who get Biggie? Michael, we don't know how Biggie died. It's still a... It's still no, a I mean, how did the angel become a 5-5? Five five? Because that's what it does. Oh. Touche. Well, that's the text on the card, Michael. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So what? Here's a thing. Here's a thing we're going to do. Okay. <clears throat> and we're just going to hope that it doesn't get countered and it solves a problem. Do we know who killed Biggie, though? Uh, it's arguable that, um, what's his name killed him? Uh, Suge Knight, I think. There's theories about that. <laughs> Kermit just sent me this, and I don't even know what the fuck it is, I'll be honest with you. Like, <laughs> what am I looking at here? Uh, a Game Boy. Look at the size of that Game Boy, though. That ain't a real Game Boy. Look at the Switch. Designed as a Game Boy. Yep. Good. Good, good. Take 20 minutes to Sublime Epiphany, me, bro. I was going to... I wonder if we should counter his only spell he's played in three turns. <laughs> he's really having a moment with himself here. Bro. Bro. Why are we not playing Augury? Because it's eight mana. But that card is... Also, we hit eight mana, so you know Super what? It's sick. coming in the deck. It seems like a slow grinding match for that card. So is scholar. Great. I'm putting all these big fat. What does scholar do? Deck. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may cast an instant sorcerer artifact from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If an instant sorcerer we put in the graveyard, just exile it. Okay, so it's a big snappy. Yeah, boy. But also other things. You know my boy, big snappy. Oh yeah. You know him. Oh yeah. Now what to cut? I'm gonna cut one thing and we're gonna play 41 because that's how we um, do it. Gisela. She's pretty boring. It's literally just a 4 3 blank. I was gonna say Knight, but that might be good early, so. You don't know anything about magic. The 2 2 seems, I don't know, kind of meh here. That doesn't look like a switch. 
Well, it don't look like a regular Game Boy. Oh, Kerwood said my goal in life is to get a long Game Boy. <laughs> so that makes sense. That checks out. Only you can... Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, boy. I'm yeah. going to do it. Oh, man. If we hit one land... We got three Siggies. I mean, if we hit one land, we're probably going for good. That's what I'm saying. Or on the play, mm, I like it less. Sounds good. I like a I like a handheld with a short screen and a long game ball. Always a pleasure, Magic the Gathering. Always a pleasure. Well, I still think we can recover. The deck is pretty slow. Do, 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 do. Look, now we're basically on par. I'm going to consider playing Mind Stone there. No, because you want to be able to play Mind Stone because you can tap it immediately. It doesn't, I don't think it matters, really. They're both going to add another mana. Michael, just listen. Muggle. 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 Land again? Two in a row? Fuck, now we're doing Now we're living the fucking dream. This is the dream, Michael. We slam the angel here? Well, yeah, but also with a signet. Brussels So now we have five men and an angel. They got four men and an elite guard mage. How do you lose? Just kidding. They'll kill us. <laughs> Are the games for longer? Yeah, they go all the way down the back. They're like this big, I bet. What is that? Vana? Oh, Vana's good. Yeah. Think seven life to destroy a permanent's pretty good. Do you think so, Michael? So this gives plus one plus one. So it's only four. So it's not gonna life us. They can sac we can make them sacrifice their Vana next turn. Only if they attack with it. Why wouldn't they attack with it? It's original and also life only if they four attack four. with it by itself. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. So I'm gonna hold back then. Yeah, I mean... Oh, well, they attack with both and then they kill this. Uh, this card's very good. Why is it so good? I mean, you do have to pay seven life. Maybe you do. But then they gain four of it back. Are you breaking that chain? Yeah, probably. Oh, fuck, dude. That's terrible. I'll break it. I'll buy it. I literally bought it. I'll break it again. Why would you do this? And then I'll buy it again. Then I'll break it again. Then I'll buy it again. It's not making a lot of sense. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. Let's see what happens. Maybe they don't see that play? I don't know. I mean, I, I can only imagine they do. Yep. Yep. Yeah. never gonna work <laughs> not in a million billion years is that ever gonna work I think we still have to do it like we can't just play nothing here this card seems very strong Oh, they're just going to Sublime Epiphany us? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yep, that's cool. Non-nerd pastimes? What do you have? What's a non-nerd pastime you have, Kerwit? Sport. Kerwit didn't play no sports, especially not in pandemic time, right? Nobody watches sport. Maybe that's true. Maybe he's watching the big football game. Big football... I was deciding my modes. He's definitely deciding his modes. Yep. Okay. Done. Absolutely done. 
Yep. Yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. All right. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Still had all these, I guess. I don't know. Man, what a piece of shit. That's. I don't think he was trying to be rude. I just think he was. No. It's okay. rude. Okay. I, I I agree. I personally wouldn't do it, but it also could have been misclick. How do you feel about that? What? The guy who makes you return to land? The tutu? Hasty tram? Oh, I think it's trash. I think it's. I don't know. It's a really complex like, card. Like, where do you ever want to play it? Like, you don't want to play Modern on turn Burn. one. Where, like, your spells never cost more than one. I guess so. Because you go turn one, you play it, you return your, your land. Mm -hmm. Turn two, you attack with it, and you have no land, and then you play your land. And then you can play, like, a, a, two, a one drop afterwards. Turn two, you play a land, and then you have two lands, so you can play something. I guess so. I mean, I don't think it's terrible in modern, but I don't think it's standard playable at all. No, like, it's, definitely It's not. very... I guess it's kind of good if you draw it on three in like a standard burn deck but but you don't want to draw it on three you want it to one drop <clears throat> I'd rather draw three drop in standard burn this looks like Mike didn't read my article this week what a piece of shit <laughs> <laughs> look man I'll read it eventually no you won't I gotta work man it's, it takes some time yeah no one else in the chat has the only people who read my article is actually people who don't work yeah I know everyone who reads it is unemployed exactly because the only way you can ever do anything in your life is by not working yeah you can't read things you can't watch movies shows I know videos. it's terrible it's really bad man I'm really sorry even Thwok commented on it and he hates everything <laughs> although his comment was negative and he did he did say he didn't like a thing so oh, of course he did that's just Thwok if he didn't do that, I would I wouldn't believe you that he commented. I'd on be that like, article. yeah, that's um, that's fake news. Look, we got a bloop. You ever think anyone's ever cast him out of a deck to draw two cards? No, it's never happened. He wishes it happened. You want to try? We can try and prince this guy. Unless they give me a better three drop. I hate this game so fucking much. Couldn't be on turn three when we can make an angel, huh? Too much to ask for. I think it was. So we can either draw a card or make another token with Urza when that happens. I don't think we want to be playing this. Like, we're going to have this 4-drop, four 4-drop, four 5-drop. I really don't think... Uh, playing Charming Prince at that point is really what we want to be doing. I'd rather just draw an extra card. Oh, so didn't you just post the article like today? Yeah. Well, give me some time. No. Wow. You're you very demanding. Time. Looking forward to actual full set review with you. Oh, yeah. Me and, me and Rob will do it. We'll full set you. Your computer can't run Arena? Oh, no. Toaster boy. My dad can't run Arena. Because he probably doesn't have a computer. What do you bounce here? Both of these are very good, man. Interesting. You say my dad doesn't have a computer? Mm-hmm. Wow, what an absolute piece of shit you are. Did I really insult your dad because he doesn't have a computer? Yeah. I mean, maybe he has a tablet. I don't know if that counts. Okay, you're being real shitty right now. Don't talk about my dad's tablet. Why not? Don't you're defensive about your dad's tablet? Don't talk about daddy's tablet. Put it on daddy's tab. What? <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Shit minds think alike. What's that thing do? Gets countered. Oh, that's the one that lets you draw a card? If you got a big boy? Yeah. And it untaps permanence. Permanentes! My computer is fairly powerful, but Arena makes it crash and drives me nuts. Well, apparently it is very weird. powerful. Apparently it is trash! <laughs> I want to attack with Charming Prince. I haven't heard of people having troubles with Arena too often. Too often. Yeah, like a weird computer you run oh, on I'll Linux or some shit. That. So I'm tempted to play land, but I really want to, I want to proc this guy, but I don't think we're going to ever be able to do it. So I think we just... Keep... That seems like a not worth it. It seems real greedy. It seems better to just, you know, play a 5-5 five, five and kill them. But I could go cool land, dude. 
It's not a cool land. It's just a literal plains, man. Oh, Michael B. Still make spawn comics? Yeah, they do actually. That's funny. And I was just thinking that yesterday. I was like, how many should spawn there? Like a thousand? There's like three fifty. Oh, that's but I was than like, I thought. I I'm thought like, who? Really the, like, is, what story? I like, I think I just, I underestimated it personally because I was just like, what's what stories are still being told in Spawn? Oh, an Oblivion ring. Because it's not like part of another universe. Spawn's kind of on his own. I mean, technically, he's been in other stuff, but he's on his own. You're on your own, Spawn. <laughs> but he mostly kind of sticks to his own story. I like the origin of Spawn, but beyond that, I haven't really read much of it. There's one time when he went back in time. One um, time when he went back in time. Everybody's going back in time. This ain't your daddy's spawn, Michael. <laughs> I also really like the HBO animated series. That was pretty cool. It was like seven years ago. They were probably on issue number Seven years then. ago? It was like 15 years ago. Yeah, try 15. Actually, is spawn only up for like 350? Spawn. Let me look up my... my I'm also curious what year. Which spawn animated series. The most was. recent spawn issue is 309. Okay. But, like, at 12 issues a year. Okay, that's about 25 years. Which kind of checks out, yeah, from 1990-ish. Yeah, that makes sense. Look at when that animated series came out. So just spawn HBO would probably work. 1997. Oh, wow. 23 years ago. Jesus Yes, an old boy. Just like your grandpa. He's an old boy. <laughs> you stopped reading around one twenty, one thirty. Dang, must have got. That's a Are lot of commitment to stop. Oh wow, that's great. What made you stop? My dad. <laughs> Son, I can't have you reading them devil comics anymore. Okay, boy. But daddy, I love my devil books. <laughs> daddy. Make a joke, but that's probably a conversation someone's actually had. I think it was you and your mom. Wow. Your mom's like, I can't have these demon books in my house, Michael. And you were like, okay, mama. I'll get them out <laughs> Why your did house you make me Johnny you? Bravo for a minute? Hey, mama. <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird show. I was like, hey, mama, sounds good. I'll get them out the house. Do you know the new Jackass is coming out next year? I did see your post about that, and that's really exciting. I'm actually really excited about it. I don't know how it, they're dude. not going to all die because they're all, like, 50 years old, but, you know. Whatever, dude. Steve-O, I can see, still doing it because that guy still, like, does stunts and stuff on his channel and things like that. But all the rest of them, I don't know how. Like, is Bam Margera going to be in it? <laughs> yes. Oof. He was in the cast list. Maybe. I don't know. I've heard he's gotten better with the alcoholism, but. I mean, I'm sure having his friends around would help a ton. Yeah. But man, dude, I love some jackass. It's another one of the stories where someone like has no idea to do with the success. You know what I mean? It's what? No idea of what to do with their like that's, crazy overnight. Yeah, well, not that overnight, seems but, like you know what I mean. Like he went from like a semi professional skater to like a I'm name, a household girl. name. I'm on know? board. I like it. Well also like you can't just beat up your dad forever, you know? Sometimes <laughs> you gotta you gotta branch out. Yeah, you can also beat up Vito, you know. Well, you gotta get to him in jail. But he's in jail. Don Vito? Like that guy. Yeah, dude. What did he go to jail for? Embezzling. Don, embezzling. Is, is that his name? Don Vito? I think so. Vito. Bam. Yeah, let's look up that. Oh, God. That is a mugshot. Is he embezzling donuts? Oh, he died in 2015, man. Oh, really? Whoa. Was an American reality television person and convicted sex offender. Sex offender. Oh, oof. Jesus. Yikes. That's not good. What does this do? At the beginning of each upkeep, put an hour counter. Shuffle your hand and graveyard in your library. So he house. literally became the thing that he looked like. Child molester, basically. Well. I kind of like this, actually. I would say rest in peace, but I'd be lying. Fuck out of here. So now we can just instant speed or animate like Lyra. Seems good. It does seem good. We also have some plant form. Man, that... What's up, plant form? That Demir signet's really holding holding your life together. Oh, that's pretty good. Is it? Oh, wait. 
I thought it bouncied, but it only counter. I have not watched the Dune trailer yet. Great token, that's a cop. Do I just want to bounce this and make a copy of it? Oh, what we can do is actually re oh, they're gonna block. We can reanimate Charming Prince and then flicker this. That actually seems not terrible. Exile another creature gonna blank this sky from now on Michael will be gonna I could be the clock tower though bro I mean it's gotta have 12 counters on it man but when it does yeah nothing will happen <laughs> they'll be dead the card is not really good I'm just gonna block with Charming Prince because then it's in the graveyard again. And they're like, oh yeah. That seems bad. They're probably just gonna wipe the board here. Wait, there's no black. Did you ever try Al Bear Barbecue? Food and Wine Magazine put it as a top barbecue in Colorado. Um, mm. No, not yet. Didn't you recommend this previously? Oh, it would be weird if you reference that without saying, did you try it yet? <laughs> Gotta be more specific. Where's it at? Uh, what happened? Hold on, something just happened. Oh, they played Temporal Trespass. Wow, they're just like drawing all the, they're taking all the turns. Uh, it is in Lar Larimer Street in Denver. Let's see how far it is from here. Oh, Teferi? Interesting. 32 minutes away. Oof. That's probably why we haven't tried it. Yeah, we found a local place that's really good. Let's depart at... Say, like, 11 a.m. Let's okay. say 11 p.m., actually. I just want a non traffic -y time. Eh, about 26 minutes. A little, a little better, but... Better, but... It's a little better, but... Michael, are you talking about my little better, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Eight manus. The difference between 20 30 minutes doesn't seem like a lot, but that's kind of like my cutoff as far as like driving places for food goes. Unless we're making an adventure out of it. An adventure. 100 Michaels in the making. One, two, three, four, five. God, I'm like one minute shy for everything. I have to pull a curve and have it delivered sometime. Oh man. Oh wow. That's a that's a big delivery right there. It's getting a little problematic now. And he just shovels everything back in and we draw a bunch of cards, right? No, they do. Mm. We don't get to draw seven. They do. Yeah, but our cards slap pretty hard right now. Buddy? That's true. Oh, they got rid of my... Fascinating. The king is dead. Your mom is dead. She is? <sighs> Fuck, I didn't mean to tell you like this. <laughs> well, it seems really random. That she died? Yeah. I agree. I was there. 
It's weird because I she texted me like ten minutes ago. She did. <laughs> Someone else texting for her. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Seems kind of weird. What? What? Me don't understand. W wait, what? The old main phase two ninja. <laughs> Uh, you didn't block either, right? Nah. What just happened? What an ever-loving piece of shit just happened. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, man. That had to be a mess up, right? I don't know anymore. You're almost dead. If only I had a colonnade. Well, they do have Teferi to blink something. Oh, yeah, he can do that on other turns, right? But it costs three, so, like, their Teferi's just fucking dead here, right? Like... Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can make three angels. It's actually pretty decent. Oh, and they also have no cards in hand? Yeah, but wait, so next turn this gets one counter, goes with nine. They can go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. They can pump this next turn. Sure. Phase it out. Phase, phase it out. <laughs> Hachoo! Wait, phase doesn't kill it? No. Phase is not blinking. Interesting. I don't know how phase work. <laughs> I don't know how phase work. They have no cards. They have to spend all their mana to pump this thing. So I'm pretty sure we just entreat for three angels. Yeah, I think you just slam some angels here. I think they're just dead to that. This goes up to nine. So they can... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can spend all their mana to draw seven, but they don't get their mana. They, they, they have nothing else to do. But then they... Die. What? They die. Oh. They'll be dead. You'll be dead. Who's here? Uh, I'm just going to chump block this guy because... You don't, you don't, you don't deserve to get my, my cards, my deck cards. Who's that? Who's at the door? Who's at the door? Who's my gonna be? Okay, so they are putting counters on this. They could put two on, and then go to our turn, pop it on our turn. What does it do? Sh shuffle your hand and graveyard into your library. I'm tempted to just supplant form and get rid of this guy. Why? I don't know. Explain it to me. Well. You can't block, right? No, but like it gets them off the board. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. But they're just like dead. Well, they're drawing seven, so. I mean, still have to at least answer two things. It's true. And then they have one black. Red probably ain't gonna help him. You don't think Red's gonna help him though? Probably not. Well, you're gonna come down. They, they lost the game. They were dead. Got him. I killed him. We could have parted the water veil next turn. You killed them? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Oh my god, these dogs are so. They're really something. Do we just play these big fat things? Every game? Mm, they're another slow deck. What did we take out last time? The stupid G Gisela? Gazela? Gazrila? Gazela out of here. I kind of like your in the deck, actually. It triggers by this, 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 this. Wait, this. triggers our Karma Guide? No. One, two, three, four. This guy. Meh. I mean, I'm taking a permanent. It's pretty good, man. You run tap permanent before? No. My shit stays tapped. <laughs> Here comes the high pitch. It's happening. Oh boy. Okay. All right. We're. Ha oh. Okay. okay. That's. Oh. That's gotta have. To, okay.
Jesus, that like he gets so high. That clipped it. It's like hurts my brain. Can I get a rat train for Mike's birthday? For sure, man. Send him on down to rat train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Ooh. rat train? <laughs> oh, they got a Karuga? I didn't even know they had a Karuga as their... That's interesting. I didn't know that either. Unless they sideboard into it. I feel like we would have noticed that. Keep it. Karuga, Bahama. Come on, big fat hippo. Hey man, you ever had a crested? You ever, you, ever had a, you ever had a sun mare before? No. Is that, I thought that was your favorite candy. Crested sun mare? Mere? Mare. <laughs> you just make up any kind of words. What else is new? Nothing. That's not That's not new. I just was... Well, I don't understand. What are you saying? Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh wow. Tatsuki Race! Why? It's very random. Because it's funny to me. That's all I'm at. It's funny to me, and that's the important part. It is Wednesday. How was the temp swing for you guys? It was pretty wild. Just so, crazy. Tuesday, no, well, Monday it was 97 degrees. Wednesday it snowed. Tuesday it snowed. Today it's just in the middle. It's climbing back up, but what does this do? Bonders Ornament. Add one man of any color. Each player who controls a permanent name Bonders Ornament draws a card. What? I don't control that. What? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We can part the Water Veil. Or we can play a, a Kenrith. Or a Sunny Mare. Sunny Mare, it'll burn your throat. Michael, did you just hit your head? Yeah. Oh, no. Are you okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. I think it's Sunmare. Into Kentrith. Okay. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, yes, you can do that. Hello, my dear. Okay. We got a rain, and we know how to use it. You know that song? Can I draw a mustache on your face? No. I already have a mustache. Can I draw a bigger one? Let me draw a handlebar one on there. I'll draw some do sideburns that. down here. Those aren't sideburns. Though, you know what I'm saying. They're, they're, they're mustache sideburns. <laughs> I don't know what you actually call they're like that. like long sleeve pants, man. <laughs> God damn it. They didn't do anything. I still can't believe you said that one time. Oh, you can believe it. You better believe it. Okay, so... Yikes. I'm probably just attacking with the Sun Mare here. Because I am worried about that card that like puts all attacking or blocking creatures on top of their library. And... Voracious Great Shark. Yeah, it's a trade. Whatever. I don't want to trade, though. This card's trash. And my card's good. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Gotcha. And you flip. Hope they get there. I could. I could flip and hope to get there, I guess. Or you just let it happen and play a Kenrith. I guess Kenrith. Back. Well, we can't win a black source, so. Yet. Okay. You will. You will. Be. <laughs> Be. Uh, you know what? Sure. Whatever. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So we can actually go. Emil Blink. Emil Blink! Tatsuki Rays! <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I want to part the water veil here just yet. I think you slam Kenrith. You can get back your little pony show. I cannot. I do not have black mana. Yet. You will. I've seen it. See, you draw right now. Swamp. Fuck. I don't even have a swamp in the deck. Why would I? Well, that's your problem. I guess you're right. Should have been thinking of that. You got any dual lands with black? You got any uh, dual lands? No, I have a Demir Signet, Michael. That's it? Yeah. 
Damn, you living that hard life. I don't have any black in the deck. Why would I? I'm just. I mean, you like, if I get one. to draw it, I draw it. I am. I'm playing Demir Signet. You can play one swamp. Why? I can't search for it. But your odds of getting black are a little better. Yeah, and my odds of casting all my double blue, double white cards are worse. Well, if you think about it that way. I'm going to try to. I'm going to think about it like that. Oh, there's your problem. Always thinking inside the box. Got to go to Taco Bell, my friend. I'll serve you up some swamps. Taco Bell will serve me swamps? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're so close to, to watering and attacking for like 40. One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually, this could be good. Hold on. Let's do this. Holding on. Tetsuki Rays. <laughs> no one's going to understand that. <laughs> I understand it, though. More like Swamp Butt. Oh, nice. So what we can do is play two for Charming Prince, blink this guy, get another... Oh, the token doesn't come into play at the end of the turn, so... Phase out? Mm, sure. They actually cut swamps from their menu. Sorry, wow. Yeah, man. Got yeah, a package man. coming. And it's either going to be $7 million or what? enough Antrax to kill a small town. Small village, Michael. God. Always with the particulars. Always with the particulars. Wow, they're just taking another turn. Okay. Their deck takes a lot of turns, but doesn't really have any way to take advantage of the extra turns they're taking. I mean, yeah, but have you ever taken an extra turn? It's really cool. Be a lot cooler if you did. Name that movie. No. I refuse. Oh, look, it's old hippie boy. The permanent man costs three, so you draw two. Sure. How does that thing do? Got a lot of text. Three mana for a menace one three. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles a card from their hand. You may look at cards exiled, and you may play lands and cast spells from among those cards. That's no, interesting. That ain't never getting in. That's like a hypnotic specter. Only worse. But sometimes better. Oh, I should have blinked this guy. I'm really bad. I got distracted. How you blink? This is that's literally what this card does. Oh. Oh, what does that do? Nothing right now. Dang it. Four, five, it's six. a five five flyer for seven. Tatsuki Ray. Four, five, six. I mean, I think I'm actually just gonna. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. I mean, blink it twice. We do it again. Let's do this. Hold on. They got rid of the Mexican pizza. Who got rid of the Mexican pizza every single day? It was Taco Bell. Mexican pizza's gone. And they got rid of the chicken, oh. shredded chicken burrito, I think, too, which is also slapped. And it was only like Michael thinks everything slaps. 
It's just kind when of it fun. slaps. A single luxury. If they ever get rid of the goddamn. Yes, my I, I blanked. I'm out. <laughs> uh, don't get rid of if my favorite get, item, though. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they ever get rid of the cheesy Gordy Crunch, I'll never go again. They don't even have a real bell. There's no bells at the Taco Bell. It's really strange. I don't think they have the grilled stuffed steak burrito anymore. Stuffed steak burrito? Could be wrong. Uh, though. Did you have a stroke? Yeah. Bah. There was like a weird liquid in my throat and... Oh boy. It just didn't work out. I don't know. Well, yeah, but... Okay, so Taco Bell... You don't go to Taco Bell because you want good Mexican food. That's not the point of going to Taco Bell. Like, you're not going there. Like, like you're going for Taco Bell. It's not Mexican food. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. You're talking to my guy all wrong. How dare you even try to lie about that much? It wasn't a lie. I just didn't see on the menu. I'm glad they still have it. All right, well. Five cards. Here comes Oblivion Stone. Starting with you, each player votes for time or money. For each vote, take an extra turn. For each money, choose a permanent owned by the... Okay, that's fine. This is actually fine in two-player game. Yeah, you get two turns, but whatever. <sighs> For each money vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter. You said you could steal a thing or you give them a turn. I would just give them a turn. Yeah. Not a single... Taco Bell or Del Taco? Well, I know. Frank's answer to that. I don't know. I'm undecided. What are you asking? Taco Bell or Del Taco? Del Taco. For me, anyway. Yeah, because they got the impossible meats. Wait, what is this attack they're doing? I tried a Burger King taco. It was pretty bad. I knew it was going to be bad, but I had to try it. Tatsuki Rays! This is what they call bold strategy, Cotton. Sacrifice both my creatures and let you play a thing for free? Bet. Alright. I mean, I guess they just have to have, like, Oblivion Stone here, but, like, we were gonna do all this anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, tokens are free, so... Yep, fucking there it is. Cool. Actually, this is not bad, because we get to blink. So here's what we're going to do. Blink Charming Prince. Charming Prince is the OT, you remember? Yeah, that's why I'm doing it, so I can save a creature. Okay. Exile another creature. Is it Urza? It might just be Urza. Mm, I think it's the horse. The tokens are all going away. It's not as powerful. Right, but Urza on board is an engine, whereas the horse doesn't do anything on its own. Okay. Like, we're going to untap with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. And then we can just activate Urza. Like, I mean, that gives us something to do. Plus, we have. Yeah, we got stuff to do. What? Good part. Cool, dude. We could also play a 5 5 flyer. For seven man. Oh, it gets rid of the other stuff too. Forgot about that. It does do that. I did forget about that as well. Oh, they got more turns too. I forgot about that too. Dang. Yeah, they got one There's more a lot going on here. Definitely 100% errors had I realized those are going away. Uh, Wait, why? Because we need that mana. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, Scholar can't get artifacts back. Oh, it does. Yeah, I guess we can get a. Yeah, I mean, it's better than nothing. <clears throat> sure. Seagate Oracle. Oracle? Yeah, it's like M. Rackle. Same thing. Hmm. 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 Okay. 
What are you laughing at? That crystalline crawler? No. You're just laughing at something random? I was laughing at your uh, post. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Um, I kind of just want to spin the wheel here. Move yourself. Oh, you're gonna counter this? This guy doesn't do anything, right? Just bounce some mana. Sure. You swindled my spell. Swindled. I have two cards in hand and a shit ton of my six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen mana. Karn, a scion of Urza. That's a good one. I would just make it like four fours, five fives. So, yep, there we go. Six sixes. Sit right back and you'll hear a tale, tale named Michael B. This game's really grindy. This game one, two. I don't even know what game this is. Holy shit! Oh, you read it. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you wanted to do. I had to know. You're right. I am dumber now. Yeah. Did your hand just like three counter spells? Fucking amazing. Cool. Like once you cast a line epiphany against me in this late in the game when I have like nothing going on, it's just I'll just scoop on I'll just save our both save us both some time. What does this guy do? Do you know each end step of time your turn take an extra turn after this one? So you just get two turns in a row for a bunch of turns, forever. I'm gonna play this Kiora. Again, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit because I'm a sadist. Two drop, two if drop. If you don't drop. risk, you can't get bisque. <laughs> Quick. God, we're so good. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Missing land drops like the best of them. Boo -do -do, midnight clock. Do -do 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 -do. Well, at least we have Cavalier for that this time. That's pretty good. Okay, but lands, however, are a different story. Look at this little creature. Pokemon! Uh -huh. This is wild. One, two, four mana. Can't cast anything here. White source would have been great because then we can get rid of like O Stone. Still draw a card. I never caught them all. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yep. Sweet. 
I guess they lose their clock here and they're just banking on us like never hitting lands again. Which is clearly Good what's gonna happen. Keep in mind you can reanimate with Karmic Guide. Something to keep in mind. Probably Augury. I mean, 8 mana seems like a lot. Mm, I think it's kind of like we just get it back with Karma Guide. So if I have 5 mana, I'm just playing this into this. But, like, this is just... If we are starting lands, like... <whistles> wow. Not the 2-drop we wanted. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Um. Make sure you do in the right order. Put on top. Put on top. So next turn we can go nothing. Well, we can no, we can go Urza and into into entry for yeah, three. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's actually really. I good. could randomly actually just win. <laughs> I mean, they're at seventeen. That's twelve power. They've already used they've already used Oblivion Stone. 12, 13, 14, 15. That's actually lethal, right? No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's only 16. Fuck. Oh, because of the Urza with the yeah, guy? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. It's almost. It's chat lethal. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it less lethal, but whatever. These guys are just going to get worse, and Karn is just going to get better, so... Yeah, I think it's worth the trade here if they want to go for it. Yeah, I'll trade your 2-2 for my 2-2. You already got that value. I forgot he scried, too. And I thought it wasn't a good 2-drop. It turns out it was, like, one of the best 2-drops we could have hit. Dude, it's set up that a treat. Well, game's not over yet. They only have three cards, though. Yeah, and they could have a counterspell, which would be awkward, but... What are you going to do? They could also tap out for some stupid... Mike, does your shirt say little boobies? It says little boofies. Chicken Sunday. <laughs> I don't think Mike would wear a shirt that says little boobies on it. Oh, good. <sighs> That's pretty obnoxious. Yep, that makes the hands great. Worse. Is it any permanent? I think it's any permanent, right? They can take lands. Yep. Yep, guess we're giving them... <sighs> two turns... Cool. Well, no, they voted for money. Oh. Just take Urza, right? I would imagine. Because it's better than just taking a land. It's like almost taking two lands. Wait, no, that's stupid. I'm <laughs> stupid, but don't. It's still the best choice. It's like taking Urza's two. land, and Urza could be good for you, so. What do they take? Do they not take anything? What? Do they just goof? Wait, what? Starting through, each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, take an extra turn. For each money vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control. They voted for money, so they had to choose their own permanent. Oh. No, the card's not bugged. No. Them just, voting for money doesn't sense. give you your permanent. Wow, that's insane. So, instead of taking one extra turn, they only took one yeah, that's pretty good. Um, this seems better. Oh wow, that was that wow that could not have gone better unless they have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unless they play this guy and still have Sublime Epiphany, which is possible. Oh, they've only got one extra turn, right? Well, yeah, so now we get to get our turn, but like they're still untapped. Reading the card explains the card. He's right. I'm confused. <coughs> oh, Fallen Shinobi, maybe? Yeah, then we definitely want to block. They do have Shinobi, right? <coughs> I mean, unless that was last match. Might have been last match. All the black-blue decks run together. <sighs> oh, 
God, all the extra turns. Apparently, you put a lot of those in this cube, huh? Yeah, well. Uh, you can have an island. Mind Eater is gone. Thief of... Do they have Karuga? I think they're just playing Karuga here. Each player... No, they're just drawing a card. Okay, so we're just going to be able to make three angels. And finally take our turn. Also, three angels, no answer equals their death. Because we can part if we draw land. That's true. I mean, I guess we do have to land, but... That's to go Angel's Land. <coughs> Your move. I think it's just not do any more things. Island is fine. Don't care about that. You don't have Thief. I don't know where the Krug is. I'm going to put it in their hand. Seems good. I'll get rid of one angel. I'll add Vraska to my hand and get rid of a second angel. Uh, you can have another island. Hmm. Well, shit. That is not a land. A graveyard, 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 graveyard. They don't have any cards in their graveyard? That's interesting. Does Karma Guide get anything back? Charming Prince, Kenrith. Uh, attack Karn, attack your face. Never don't have this. So you're choosing counter. You, what are you choosing? Counter target spell. Counter. What are you choosing? <laughs> it doesn't tell me what you're fucking choosing. Cool. Got it. That's great design. Nailed it once again, wizards. No, oh, this is a little cute little combo. We are slightly ahead on clock. Yeah, I mean, for all that, for all the good that does. <clears throat> I see we played this. I don't know. I don't know where Kurga is. I don't really care. Choosing Braska's Contempt? Sure. Get rid of Kenrith. You got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to take all the cards that give me ten turns. So we've seen Temporal Trespass, Part the Water Veil, and the time Expropriate. Money card like That's four.
like 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 13 mana sources, we have 4 lands. Seems good. Um, block this guy. Block this guy. I guess I should have done it the other way because Karma Kai is going to die. Oh, look, they did have Fallen Shinobi. How nice. Like, my heart, my hand is ridiculous so there's nothing I can really play that makes and they hit two lands because of course they did yep six drop six drop seven drop eight drop and we can't hit more than five mana sources seems good I think they're gonna have just enough time to kill us too yep Really frustrating. <coughs> nope. It's great because if one, two, three, we take one. Yep, we're just dead. Like, literally, if we had Urza still in play, we could part the water rail and maybe have a chance. Or form to bounce something to have a chance. Yep. <coughs> cool. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let me know what you think of the Live the Dream Cube, and uh, hopefully, we'll do a little better next time. One can hope. See you later, guys.